Today on the Lowdown, a dancing dream podcast called Lena Hi gives us the lowdown on the benefits of using sign language in her everyday life. Over to you, Hannah and Moella. Thanks, Jody. Hello, and welcome to The Lowdown, a Down Syndrome podcast. I'm your host, Hina Mahmoud, OT at the DSRF, and joining me is my most wonderful co-host, Marla Folden, who is an SLP at the DSRF. Hi, Marla. Hi there, Hina. How's it going? I'm good. How are you doing? Ooh, I'm doing super well. I'm very excited for today. I know. I'm very excited about our guest today. We have a very, very special guest. Um, But today, you know, we are bringing you a somewhat familiar topic from a new perspective. So our chat today is going to be all about sign language from the early years up through adulthood. Um, Signing is one of those forms of communication we hear a lot about, and it often comes with questions about whether it's useful in the long term. Certainly in the early years, sign language is very valuable and as a way um, as a way to have functional communication, you know, before a child has developed a verbal language or maybe started using a designated AAC device. Many people don't know that learning sign can be a great skill um, to carry up through adulthood. So we are very happy to be joined today by a sign language user with Down syndrome, the wonderful Karina High. Mm. Mm-hmm. Marina is currently a senior in high school. She enjoys art, music, ballet, and of course, makeup. I wish you guys could see her right now because her lipstick oh my gosh. is on point. Um, she has used sign language from early childhood onwards and even took sign language classes during high school. And Karina has performed in sign language at large events, including her sister's wedding this past year. Hey there, Karina, and welcome to The Lowdown. Yes, it's so nice. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, we're so happy to have you with us here today. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> usually when we have guests here on the lowdown, we start with some get to know you type questions and then we talk about our topic. Does that sound okay for you? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. That sounds nice. Okay, excellent. So my first question is, mm-hmm. what would you do if you were going to enter a talent show? Well, especially it's very nice about to be in that talent show, uh, about about to show everything in the, right in the whole world, especially it, especially it works so well over for like a- ASL and stuff. It's just very incredible. And sometimes it can be hard at first and then, and, and then and sometimes it makes you a little more c- comfy at it. And it's also very nice and very useful for it so that's very very nice is oh. is to know about it so you're saying if you were going to be in a talent show you would do asl for the talent yeah show? oh that's mm-hmm. awesome that's cool to know mm-hmm. all right um second question mm-hmm. what is your favorite breakfast food well well especially technically i really do love having like cereals and sometimes with like a lot of leftovers especially if it's, if it's like either like thai food it did happen oh. especially in the holidays i did had thai food for breakfast and that's very exciting i really i really do love having usual sometimes and that's a part of life for me so yes yeah i think ha- i know like having thai food for breakfast is a great idea I mean, why does it always have yeah. to be cereal right let's change it up mm-hmm Absolutely. Yeah. And more. Love it. So, yes. Totally. Mm-hmm. All right. My third question for you is if you could buy any new makeup product, what would you buy? Well, well technically, I was thinking with like setting powder because because of, I really love setting powder because I, I always, sometimes I, I really do like prevent sweating sometimes. Mm-hmm. And, and also, and they also work so well for it's like it is. Is to is to make sure it won't be like all, all over the place. It's it's like a, a lot of lip glosses and lipsticks. They they also work so well and 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 so, and so that it, it won't be like everywhere to get smudged at and and for setting powder hugely works. So that's what I really really love about it. So yeah, smart keeping everything where it's supposed to be. I guess hey mm-hmm. yeah. 
It does. Yes, that's a really good idea, Karina, because we do, mm -hmm. we work so hard on our makeup. And then if we don't use setting powder, it's all going to get ruined. So, so, so smart. Such a great tip for everybody listening today. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Karina, I'm going to ask you the next couple of questions. Is that cool? Yeah, totally. Awesome. Okay. So what animal would you like to see in the wild? Well, well, especially technically, I really love seeing it. It, it was the leopards or, or the cheetahs because of yeah. it's so cute. It is so cute, and also I also I also love to see is the spots and, and they're and they're just like so so amazing. So, so that's what I'm gonna pick is either leopards or cheetahs, and that's what I, I love to see in the wild. Beautiful. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. very cool. I love I love leopards too. They run so fast. I don't know if I could keep yeah. up with it, but yeah, I would kind of hide and watch, right? <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Okay, yeah, so our totally. last question, our mm -hmm. last question is, Karina, what is your de-stress routine? What do you like to do to relax? Well, especially I I really do love doing is is to I love I love to write lyrics sometimes, and sometimes I do like meditation. That's also mm -hmm. very nice to use, and that's what I really love love about it. And that's and that's really an amazing thing. And that's why I really love m music and stuff. And sometimes, and sometimes I really I really love it is to sing is to sing, especially a lot of Broadway Broadway musicals oh. a lot a lot mm -hmm. lately. So there's that. What music girl after are my you own into? heart? Yeah, mm -hmm. what are you into right now? Well, 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 especially technically, I really do love. I really do love musicals, and the best part is, I, I really do have it. It was, it was my aunt Heidi, and she got me. It's this, it's this amazing musical I love right now. That was West Side Story, and that since, and that since 1960s, and I love it. And, and I also have it on my phone. Same thing with my dad. I'm just like very happy with that musical so so then so then that, that's why i've been with listening that right now excellent side story what a classic um karina would you recommend our list to, to our listeners to try meditation for relaxation yeah. do you think it work it would work for everybody or oh for yeah totally mm -hmm. great especially great. especially about like so filming a lot of videos around YouTube, especially for like meditating. And sometimes I love doing yeah. yoga sometimes. And that's a hard life for me. So I'm seeing that. That's why I really love meditation. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a great suggestion. There's so many great YouTube videos on yoga and meditation. I, I do yoga on YouTube too. So awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks so much. It was so great to kind of get to know a little bit more about yeah. you. And I'm sure our listeners learned a lot about how awesome you are. Yes. Um, yes. So let's kind of talk about sign language. Can you tell me yeah. how did you, how did you learn sign language? Well, especially it's really amazing. I, I was also, I was also, it's also been like a long time ago since I was a kid. I also watched it. It was, it was called, it was called the Signing Times. It's a really nice program for for a lot of kids and that's why I've been using a ASL mostly and that's very nice and that's what I really look that's why I really love about using ASL because it's a, a wonderful job especially that's what I really love for mm -hmm. for, for like a lot of kids especially on Down syndrome and that's also a part of life and also it is it is also also it's okay to be different especially especially if it's if it's like either if it's like if it's either like hearing people part of hearing or like or like mm -hmm. or like deaf people and that's it's just a part of life for them for for it so mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's mm -hmm. very true you're right and i think so many people can benefit from sign language so do you mention yeah. that you you did the signing time videos is that what you said yes Mm -hmm. Can you, so really is, with have. the signing time videos, do they have songs? Like what kind of things do they show on the video? Yeah, so um, it's really amazing. It, it is really, it is really a showing about like Alex and it's showing like Alex and also Leah and they, and they mm -hmm. also show up. They also show a lot of signs lately mm -hmm. over with a, a lot of op objects if, if, if it's even like clothes or like, or, yeah. or like toys and stuff. That's, mm -hmm very exciting and that's what I really love and and, and, and they also have such some songs in the too yeah yeah so yeah it's nice it used to be um DVDs right 
Yeah, in Houston City. too. Yeah. And then they had like themes, I think. Wasn't that how yeah. it was? Mm-hmm. So they would have one that, like you said, was all about clothes and all the yeah. things you could wear. And I remember there was one about going to the zoo. Yeah. And one about food. There was lots of different and also feelings with a lot of emotions. They have that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really exciting. That's a good one. You mentioned mm-hmm. Alex and Leah, and I think those are kids in the video, right? Yeah. Yeah, they are. And also, and also about for also for Rachel's daughter Leah, and she's also she she's also a, a kid who's actually who's also who's also deaf, and that and that's why it did happen, and that's why they have been using ASL for, and that's why it happened with her, especially when she she is a, a deaf kid. And that's mm, fine. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. Yeah, so that's, that's awesome. So Karina, you were learning sign language. Did your family learn sign language too? Yeah, I have. It's really nice, especially since it's also my uh, another sister's w- wedding. I did that. And also it's very, it's very wonderful to have all of it. And that's why I just shared one of them. One of them. I always feel like, I also use like ASL for, for songs too, which is like either like either what a wonderful world, defying gravity, and same thing with for good and there and there and that and that is also from is the musical is called Wicked. I, I really do set sing the song sometimes and that's really fun. Cool. Does your do your mom and dad also use sign language or have they learned it as well? Well, especially it's actually it can be like hard for them sometimes, but over mm-hmm. by, but over by still, I, I I'm the only one who who actually have done that because it's been like it's been like a, a long time it's been like a long time about since I was a, a kid I was the yeah. I was the only one who did so mm-hmm. yeah so would yeah it's say, very nice. Would you say you're the best signer in the whole family? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I also use like I also use like something very exciting, and it's called wall shifting. I have I have done that too. What what while I am signing, while I am signing for a lot of synthesis, that's very incredible, and they have like a lot of expressional ex- expressions in my in, in their faces, and that's amazing. Mm-hmm. So so that's why I did some wall shifting in it. So that's nice. Can you explain what role shifting is? What does that mean? <laughs> well, especially about role shifting, it, it is it is really about like it, it was like either this side right here, but it goes it goes like right here on the right, or or, or otherwise it goes like this way on right on your right on, right on your le- left, and, and you, you're like signing sign right of each sentence, and that's what and that's what it usually happens with with wall shifting, and that's very very exciting so that's why i didn't use that for that sounds very complicated Mm -hmm. Um, do you use role shifting when you are signing with more than one person or when do you when do you need role shifting well especially it i actually i really i really do that over to myself recently and that was really fun and also for that was I, I also felt so so happy about it and, and that was from broadband and it's from broadband and she also loves loves that especially when I'm about to see me about to see me doing my role shifting and that's why I that's why I, I have that's why I have done that recently recently and that's very very nice and that's why that's why I use role shifting for while I am signing so Okay. So, so that makes her happy. So you've really gone from little kid sign when you were younger. It's mm-hmm. very complicated signing. This is yeah. complex stuff that you've been learning mm-hmm. in high school, right? It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really, really exciting, especially about just sign a lot of sentences. I have done that too, mm-hmm. and they're really, really fun. Mm-hmm. And I think what you said, oh, sorry, I was just going to say, Karina, I think what, when you said that it was easier for you because you learned it from when you were younger, I think that's a really important point, right? So um, sometimes it's harder for adults to learn things when they're older, but it was so mm-hmm. great that you learned it when you were younger and now you're like this yeah. amazing signer. So that's awesome. Mm-hmm. It sure is. Yes. 
it is really nice and that's what and, and that's why it is really a part of life or not and that's very very nice and that's what i really love about to see about to see a lot of guys out there and, and they have been like saying a lot and that's what i really love so yes it's mm, a part awesome. of life mm -hmm. um what do you think when you see somebody else who can also sign like if you see another teenager or adult who knows sign language too, how does that make you feel? Well, especially it actually it, it actually it makes me very happy and proud about about to see a, a, a lot of guys singing and that's very nice. And also I really and also I really do saw one of them had a pen named Haven and, and and she and she also uses ASL too and she's also in my class my class so that's what I really love mm -hmm. that's what I really love about that that's why it's really really nice about using ASL for it so yes really inclusive right mm -hmm. yeah it is yeah mm -hmm. um do you ever find that there's times where signing is actually easier for you than talking well especially it's really amazing and also especially especially I for like a lot of deaf people like they actually they actually talk, they actually talk they actually talk opposite than than, than hearing people do and that's mm -hmm. and that's really that that happens for for over for everything about well, about of a while they they're also singing and that's and that's really a, a great way to hear this and that's right and that's why it is totally opposite over with them talking and singing but especially especially about for like deaf, deaf people who can and sometimes they don't and mm -hmm. and also that's what that's what it's a part of life for that so so that makes it very nice so that's why it's nice so you're saying that you would use signing whenever you're talking to anybody from the deaf or hard and furying community yeah would be a good time that makes a lot yeah. of sense mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so great mm -hmm. that you know sign because you can really does, you yes. from the deaf and hard of hearing community. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Do you think that sign language has helped you out in school, like learning other subjects? Has it helped you at all? Yeah, well, especially it is. It, well, especially it is really nice and and also a, a, and also a very useful language. And also it's it's also very nice over for them. It it's also very nice for them. And and they, and they even have like deaf schools over from like a lot of kids and mm -hmm. and they also have been like signing in those deaf schools and that's what it that's why it did happen is i think it's like over by like i think it's about like since 1500s they they have done that it's very that's very incredible and that's and that's really a part of life and that's what i really love that's what i really love about ASL and like and they also show and, and that's why they have been showing a lot lately, especially it's just nice. Okay. I'm yeah. wondering about you in your high school. Do you ever use signing like in English class or math class or in drama or yoga or any of the other classes? Do you do you use sign language? Yeah, yes. Well especially well especially it's really nice. I I, I sometimes I, I really do contact is is Sometimes I, I like to contact somebody. Somebody I want to like what what what, 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 what. Sometimes I like to contact a lot of guys out there over like over like in my math class and sometimes over by during international games class. That was really awesome. And it's also really fun to to use. So that's nice. And that's what I really do use for for ASL contact. But in my yeah. in my classmates so you use it with classmates during your other class yeah <laughs> yeah sometimes i do it's also it's my also my ASL class i do that too yeah Karina, Karina, do you sometimes yeah sorry go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> i'm just gonna say do you do your classmates sometimes ask you to teach them sign language too yeah well especially well especially i really did try to over with my it did happen over with Junior sometimes, and he's my boyfriend, and, and sometimes he's like ask, asking me, sometimes he's been like asking me how to sign a language, yeah. and that's what it is, and that's very amazing, and that's, 
Yeah, that's crazy. And same thing with Hofstad, and he's my and, and he's my international. He's my he's in my international games coach. He's mm -hmm. very he's a very exciting person, and that's what and that's why he's been asking me sometimes to about to use sign language and stuff. Oh, so, so you're yeah. teaching other people. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, I was just going to ask you, how has it been to take sign language classes in high school? Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so um, it's very amazing. It, it's been like a long time about signs that I, I really did took ASL 1. That's really amazing class. And also, and, and also I, I am, I am, and, and also over by now, I am, I am also on, I'm also on, I'm also on, ASO two, and that's very exciting, and and, and also and also is and also ASO two have has like voices off, and so and so they're like signing together, and that's really really fun, and that's what I love about it. So yeah, I, I am now on level two for ASO. So in your ASL class, nobody mm -hmm. gets to have their voices, and it's only signing. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It sure is. And this is Very at immersive. the college level, right? You're doing this. So it's a mm -hmm. cool program with your high school and the local college. And you have yeah. a teacher from college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is really nice. And that's, and that's what, and that's what it did happen, especially since I was a kid. It, it works. It does work very nicely for them and that's why and that's why I really love using ASL and sometimes I, I do that over over to my music sometimes mm -hmm. and that is really a part of life for it so that's why it's nice for it have, so, yeah. have you been able to do your ASL classes on zoom during the pandemic yeah I, yeah actually I did it's nice and also also for broadband she, she also got me is this uh, all she did got me is I think it's called Flipgrid. They're they're also really nice to use and also and also I've been like signing for that, especially over for my expressive skills and also and also re receptive skills for signing and that's mm -hmm. very very incredible work and that's and that's very nice and also it is, it is a lot of work it is okay. it is a lot of work for. Um, but for like all, all the same, especially since it, you're, you're really, uh, uh, especially since that happens, what we are also get kids in that time, it makes it a lot of hard work. And then after that, I, I am now fully, I'm now fully grown and, and 18. And that's why I, I really got, got him better at it. So yeah. Mm. Yeah. For the people who are listening, I'm just going to explain what Flipgrids is real quick for people who are listening. It's mm -hmm. a kind of like a private YouTube where students would have to upload videos of them mm -hmm. demonstrating a skill that they've learned. And then yeah. the teacher grades it based on the videos that you've uploaded. And you can also look at the rest of the class. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, for sure. It's cool. That's really cool. Um, can you mm -hmm. talk about performing sign language with music and where you got that idea from? Well, especially I also love I also love doing that completely, and also it works so well. Especially it also it it also it did happen over since over since like Christmas time it did happen, especially around the holidays. So I just signed a lot of songs which is like which is like oh which is like two songs from Wicked, Define Gravity and or Good. I did sign those. I also signed I also signed one one of the songs over from the over from the rock band of Grab Journey. And I also oh, yeah. signed that and that's very nice. And, oh, and I love that. Yeah. And yeah, it's just wonderful. And I also I also did what a wonderful world from Blues Armstrong. That's also very nice. And that's and that is also for that's also for oh is that's also for inspiration on from my sister's wedding and that was Elisa. So and that's Elisa who did who did now marry and that's what it did happen. I also I also signed that song. To, to her in, in, in the whole crew. and also and also it and also it's so like uh, amazing and, and, and they're like cry 
happily in that part and that's amazing and, and i love that so yeah, yeah. that's I'll so special it. karina Mm -hmm. so it was I'll it was sure for people who are listening um mm -hmm. I, I got to be there for that um Karina sure, yeah. performed a song in sign language for about in front of about 200 people um mm -hmm. which takes a lot of courage and guts and I don't think I would have done that but yeah, no. you were brave and you <laughs> went for it and did everybody cry pretty much yeah, almost. Pretty much everybody but, cried. Yeah. And I'm well, crying well, just listening to the story, Karina. Know. It's so yeah. amazing. What in you a did. happy way. People were yeah, in a yeah, happy way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Very mm -hmm. proud of you. That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yes. That's awesome. It is nice. Do you think now you're an adult, you're 18 years old, do you think you're going to continue using sign language as you get older as an adult? Yeah, I think so. I was thinking, I was thinking like, half high school half college phrase for a so that's very incredible and it's also a lot of hard work and also i i also love using i love using that so much and that's what and that's what it happens i i also i also and also and sometimes i really do write a lot of sentences for over with each and that's what and that's why it is totally and that's why it's totally opposite over from like deaf people and also hearing people they actually talk opposite and that's why and that's why i've been that's why i've been writing that what we're on in that deaf, deaf world so that's really nice mm -hmm. so yeah so yeah it's very nice. cool yeah it's nice yeah. in this college race so yes do you yeah. think you're gonna continue um communicating with people in the deaf and hard of your own community mostly. yeah i think so especially especially i i really might turn it over to my uh over to my other other sister that was abby and and, and she'll and she'll also love to see that and same thing and same thing over with stella and and ava and, and they will and they will also love that so that's very very nice for them so yeah you know, so yes, some more people in the family how to sign yeah, some of your mm, pieces. That's, yeah, that's also very nice for us. So yes, that's what that's what I really, that's what I really love about it so much. Mm -hmm. I love it, mm -hmm. um, Karina. There's so many people listening, to, you know, to this episode. What do you want other people with Down syndrome to know mm -hmm. about using sign language? What would you tell them? Was well, well, especially over by technically, it's it is it is very incredible, and also I also have an amazing friend who is also in Down syndrome, and that was Cooper, and, and, and he also and he, and he also took ASL class too, and that's awesome. and that's really awesome for him. So, so that's why I really might co contact with sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. too. So yeah. Yeah. Do you, so do you trouble. do you think it would be very useful for other people with Down syndrome to know sign language? Yeah, I think so. Especially, especially it it really did happen over from like sixteen hundreds. It did. It really did happen in those times, and then and then after that moment, it then after that moment, it, it also worked so well over for them about 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 using sign sign language and that's what I really love about it. So yes, it's just it's just very nice is to you... make is to make everything especially about for like a lot of kids on downside home. And that's mm -hmm. really a, and that's also a great thing. And and they, and they also do that all for autism too. Uh, mm. and and that's what it happens with them over with like a lot of kids that want down syndrome autism and also over with like regular kids that also work so well and, and that's what I really love about it. so yeah it's nice. what do you think what do you think um sign language can help people with down syndrome or autism do what does it help with well especially it well, especially it, it really can happen over over some like ASL training sometimes, or maybe it's to a, or or maybe to watch some signing times together, and so that and so that it really can make it a lot more nicer for them, and that's why it and that's what it really can help for for is to have a lot of train training or or use signing times 
really can really can help. So yeah. Does so, it help yeah. with like communicating with other people or does it help with feeling included, being mm-hmm. part of a group? What do you think it helps with? I I think it, it really I think it really can be over, over I I think it, it really can happen over for like group group sometimes, especially as Especially, it, it, I think it would be a that would be a very n- nice way. It is to is to have is is to have them over over with the group. Is that would be very nice about to have all the crew there, and, and, and also is yeah. is to help them is to get trained and and everything so yeah. So yeah, that's what I've been thinking of. So, so yeah. yes. It is a super useful skill, like you said, mm-hmm. and it it is nice to feel like you're part of a group. Where everybody mm-hmm. knows sign language together and you guys can communicate and you're mm-hmm. right it helps you include people like people in the deaf and hard of hearing community like mm-hmm. you said there have been separate schools for people who are deaf since the 1600s but now yeah. people are included more and it's nice when everybody can communicate with them mm-hmm. right? yeah and 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 also 1500s they have that too. really time. from the 1500s i did not wow know yeah, yeah they have it's a really big history, but oh, but still, it that also happened since since yeah. 1500. So yeah, very incredible. I know them. Yeah, very mm-hmm. cool. I know, and, and I think you're right, Karina. It's like another tool that you have in your toolbox, right? So yeah, it's nice to know different things so you can use them in different situations. So mm-hmm. I think that's a very good point you made, um, Karina. If you could teach everybody one sign, mm-hmm. what what would it be? Well, well, especially I, I really do. I really do love. I really do love is to sign like oh, over like it was like love. It was like this yeah. way or like that for love, and that's yeah. really nice. So he was. I I always love using that. It is that is that sign for love. It's just very very nice. So yeah, just I think that's very beautiful. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you know what? Mm-hmm. Because our podcast, people can't see you. Maybe it would be really cool if we could like either put up a picture of you signing love, or maybe you can tell us, you know, where to find a really good video so that people yeah. can watch how to sign. I think I would love to have a picture of you mm-hmm. signing love so people can learn. I think that would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I also love. I also love this one. I love you. And that's why yes. I need to. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It, it is kind of like this, but except it, it comes with like, I love you, and that's why yeah. I have this. So, yeah. Yeah. It's just nice. Yeah. It is. Karina is showing us a couple of signs one where you're using your hand, and then one where you're using both of your arms, right? So, both of your yeah, hands. So there's two options. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, Karina, uh, would you um would you recommend that other people do things like watch signing times? Are there any other mm-hmm. ways to learn sign that you think people should try out? Yeah, I think so, especially and sometimes I really sometimes I really love using like sometimes I really I really love using like sentences. Sometimes it, it was like it was like, do you mind pick me home after? Mm-hmm. After school, that's what I use sometimes, especially this time. So, and if somebody wants to learn yeah. how to do that, like, mm-hmm. how did you learn how to do that? Was that in a class, or was that from signing times videos or a dictionary? Like, yeah. how did you learn? Yeah, that? yeah, it really did happen over from my ASL class, and that's very fun. So yeah, I I, I, I also have done sentences. I have been like sentences a lot lately sometimes, and they're real, and they're also very fun over for ASL so so yes it's just nice so maybe what we'll do for this episode is we'll put a bunch of links for yeah. community college sign language classes mm-hmm. and signing times do you ever use a signing dictionary I think so yeah yeah mm-hmm. Does that help you out because we can put a link for a couple of those as well yeah ab- we absolutely and I also have one, but but I don't have it with me. But but yes, yeah, so I really do have one over for my ASO class, though. So yeah. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. like a textbook. Y- yes, yeah, like that almost. Oh, but yes. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Really amazing. It it is, and mm-hmm. so are you. Um, you are. 
thank you so much for joining us, Karina. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you coming today. Mm-hmm. And can't wait to see what you do next. Yes, absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Karina. You're the best. Mm-hmm. You're so welcome.